Hey friendos, how's it going? It's The Enforcer here with another Jersey unboxing video. Hope everyone's having a good um, day, morning, night, whatever uh, a time of the day you may be uh, firing this up, this video. Appreciate you guys doing it. And personally, I want to send a shout out to all of, now I can officially say it, over 1,000 subscribers that I have. Hit the mark during our 24 hour stream over at uh, twitch.tv forward slash Steven Larson. For those that don't know, I'm the third man for the live uh, pay-per-view uh, watch alongs and uh, odds and ends, smash zones and do uh, unsolved mysteries with Steve over there as well. Um, so extremely thankful for everybody that spent a little bit of their time to um, join us for that 24 hour stream, had a blast. Had to get a couple hours of uh, sleep in there. For those that don't know, I do have a regular full-time job. Uh, that was a weekend. Um, I was just worried about being gassed for the rest of the week if I was up for a 24-hour plus period. So took a couple hours off over the overnight. Came back for the last uh, three hours or so at the end to finish up strong. So everything was, uh, was good with that and uh amazing so over 1000 uh subscribers I want to thank all of them everybody from the the first subscriber all the way to the to the thousandth and beyond you have no idea what that means to me it's just uh just a big uh, a geek opening up uh hockey jerseys uh that i'd be doing anyway just decided to film it and hey look at me now um the significance of this here is the the oldest team in the league with the newest team in the league all of the old guard subscribers welcoming in the new the new fans of the enforcer blending the two together i know that some of you guys are friendos through the wrestling community some of you guys are from the hockey jersey community hopefully maybe we can get a little bit of a crossover Hopefully we can make friends out of um, uh, fans, out of the uh, wrestling uh, community, maybe some hockey fans, maybe some jersey collectors, maybe turn some of those jersey collectors into wrestling fans through our content. So whether you're a hockey friendo, a wrestling friendo, or uh, a, a combination of the both, I thank you all, I love you all, thank you so much. So what I'm gonna do is I've had this uh, jersey when I did that St. Pat's jersey, uh, this one wrote, or actually the Pats wrote along with it. And I wanted to give this one its own, and it came from Ben H. So, of, of course, as always, Ben H. Email him, save the 10%. I have seen some people say that he hasn't gotten back um, to, uh, to certain people. I've seen it in the messages. Remember, Ben.Hoogenband at yahoo.ca. He's Canadian, C-A, Ben.Hoogenban at Yahoo.ca. I'll put that up here one more time. I've never had an issue with him getting back to me about any uh, jerseys or anything like that. And I haven't heard a lot of other people say that. Um, maybe just uh, fell through the cracks if he did. Uh, uh, this, he, this is a busy time for him. I will give him that. It is a busy time where he's putting up new pictures of prime green jerseys sending out a lot of stuff got a lot of pre-orders of other ones going through that so please be patient he is just a one-man job or one-man crew doing this so uh, this one right here was one that I had opened up already but um, haven't unboxed the one that's in here and I'm excited for it I was looking for this one for uh, in, in the regular uh, climb a light arrow ready uh, um, uh, times and I think Sports K had this one and then from what a Sports K told me that uh, he had a run of uh, somebody that ordered every size in this particular jersey and just broke all of his stock he even checked to see if he had one of these in in my size um, after that he said I, I just don't um, so thanks him for his time to, to um, looking uh, and seeing if he had it he didn't have it so um, I waited and I waited and I looked and I looked 
Couldn't find it. Hold on, let me wet my whistle. I'm just excited of my uh, 1,000 subs. Just bear with me. So, uh, this is one from Ben H that I've had for a little bit of time, and I want to get this out because I really, really want to see what the prime green enhancements were of this jersey. And I saw some of the uh, pictures um, that he had posted of this one. And very excited to get my hands on this one. So, this one is a prime green. If anybody that knows my setup uh, of my jerseys that I have, go on and get into the comments before I open it up and let me know. So if you wanna pause it, I'm just gonna rip on through. You wanna pause it, take a guess, run through that Rolodex of what you think it could be or just a shot in the dark. Or if not, just give this video a like. If, you, if at the end you don't think I've earned it, then just take it back. All right, so there is, it is the 100% recycled bag. So you know it is a prime green. Going to take this backing out of it, much softer backing, won't, hit, won't hurt your, um, your eardrums. So this one right here, let me see, am I, okay, cool. Let me just take a real quick look at this one for myself. Oh boy. Oh, nice. Okay, this one is the Prime Green Alternate Washington Capitals W. Now, I know uh, BA recently did an unboxing of this one. He beat me to it. If you want to check out his uh, jersey unboxing video, you can head on over to BA Sports. But this one is mine right here. Love the dark blue. Love the collar here. I love the uh, the shoulder yoke right here. It's a nice, simple, almost like a classic jersey. They had a, um, a winter classic probably about five or six years ago that had a W in it as well. And then they also had a stadium series jersey that just said uh, caps across here. And it's almost like with this jersey, they went ahead and took the pattern of that Caps jersey with the W of that Capitals um, um, Heritage or Winter Classic one and merged it into a, a beautiful, beautiful, perfect jersey. And hopefully you guys can see with the W right here how much depth there is on that right there. That looks beautiful, beautiful. Excellent, excellent piece. So I'll go right here, and then you guys can just take a gander at that right there. That looks absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Nice, simple, classic jersey right here. And then, yeah, to get up close, you can hopefully, you guys can see the depth of feel right here. And it goes all the way around. You can really, really see what we're talking about right there. That looks beautiful. And let me check the born on date because it is a prime green. This one was made July of 2021. Maybe you guys can see that. There you go. And yeah, the thing that always tripped me out, this thing will still say arrow ready on here, even though it's a prime green. And I've got a theory. I don't know how much of it is based in fact. I just did a li little bit of poking. And I did a little bit of poking into the, um, what I believe they called the um, Climber Ready Adidas uh, uh, football slash soccer jerseys that they release. And they had a version that was called a, um, a Clima Ready or Clima Wear or something like that, like a version of the Clima Light. And hold on, let me put this one on. And I was reading about it, and they said that that particular version of the Clima Ready was already made of recycled materials. They had a version that was a Clima, Clima Ready, and then there was another one that was um, was sort of, I think, a, 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 um, a lower tier one 
that didn't have the moisture wicking and all that. So I kind of want to think that if you had the uh, the Clima lights, they may have already been made with a certain amount of recycled material. Don't quote me on that, but I think some of it did have already uh, some recycled material to it. That's why a lot of the times the feel, the way that these Adidas feels, these prime greens, there's not much of a difference because I think already, which is awesome because I'm all for recycling and, 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 um, and trying to uh, uh, recycle the, the plastic that's in, in the oceans of our world uh, uh, to repurpose them for anything. So I think they may have already been putting some recycled material in the Climalites. And now just with the Prime Green, they're making a very concerted effort for you to know that there is recycled material in it. I, that's just my theory. That's just what I'm thinking. Um, let me know in the comments uh, what you think about that. Um, if you have thought the same thing or, or uh, have heard anything in particular, this is just me doing my ba very basic uh, gumshoe detective work, you know? So, friendos, come on with me. You know what time it is. We're gonna go on and take a real good look at this jersey right here. So neckline this neckline digging it with the red around the uh the top of it with that adidas shield adidas nhl shield with this centerpiece right here uh anybody that's a that's an old timer that's seen a couple of my videos with laces if you're gonna do laces let me have them like this please no danglers no nothing i'm all for it and here's where you we're going to get a real close-up look of that logo and you can really see what i'm talking about with that depth of feel right here look at that look at how that is done that looks absolutely beautiful and you could really feel that ridge you can really feel the workmanship of that jersey wow Look at that. And then on down below, you have the white, the red, the white into the bottom blue right there. We'll go up here, show you the no uh, shoulder patches, but then you've got very basic, very class, very classy jersey that I put it on today. I put it on 10 years from now put it on 20 years from now it's it's just a classic standard you know with stars with a w you know it's washington you know it's caps so that's awesome this jersey home run thank you again ben for having this available thank you ben for carrying size 60s in the amount that that you can um as a bigger dude, as a bigger enforcer, I appreciate that. So thank you, thank you so much. Um, and of course, you know, just I'll give you the twirly twirls. Um, very, very excited, excited to add this one to the collection. Um, I mean, if if I were to add somebody, it'd be Ovi. I'm gonna add Ovechkin to it, but I don't think I'm gonna add anything to this jersey. I just want to keep it nice and clean and simple. But of course. If I do, uh, Liam, Cookie Stitch Jerseys. There's a community post for Liam on his Instagram if you're interested in getting any jerseys stitched, US-based. Um, just uh, um, not, not a big company, just a guy who's uh, got a good sewing machine, got a good knack for this stuff. If you want to get your jerseys customized, Liam at uh, Cookie Stitch Jerseys over on Instagram, reach out, check out his work. Good guy, good guy. He's uh, really uh, geeked out about um, doing these uh, Seattle Kraken jerseys. Um, uh, talk to um, um, Sports K about a jersey I wanted to get. He has the uh, Kraken inaugural patches in stock. I saw that today. So if you wanted to get your Kraken patches, uh, reach out to sportsk.com I believe for those it's uh don't quote me on this but it may it may be free shipping if you just get the um 
you just get the uh, um, patch, I think it's like 13 bucks, I, I believe. It might be 13 bucks or 12, somewhere in there. I think it's less than if you were even get it from um, the manufacturer uh, a National Emblem Collection. Um, so reached out to Sports Key. I'm gonna get those and um, probably um, Geeky. Geeky is, is still in line to be put on one of these Kraken jerseys. Um, so excited for that. And um, yeah, oh, one other thing, because I want to call this also a, uh, a channel and a, um, and a set update. Um, I'm going to move this out of the way so that you guys can see. In this closet, is it's sort of a multi-purpose thing. Down below are a lot of shoes and a lot of knickknacks that don't make it. And then there's a lot of just stuff up here, okay? I'm, I'm, I'm peeling back the curtain a bit. That's why I have jerseys up here also to show them to you so that you guys can see my collection but also to cover up a lot of this stuff i am woefully running out of space in this main collection here and if anybody knows the hockey guy he recently redid his set to where he hung these uh cabinets if you will uh two-tier cabinets and one thing I want to do, unfortunately, my local Ikea, which uh, um, is what um, Shannon, the hockey guy, used for his set, um, he got a bunch of these cabinets to hang his jerseys. And he's able to hang, hang basically six sort of areas on it. It's, it's two-tiered. And what I really want to do is, um, is really... On a weekend project, take this and this, uh, this basically where the jerseys are hanging right here. I want to take all the jerseys out of here and clear everything out. And then install this, this base that would hang from the back. Um, and then you'd have your center base there and then you can hang your stuff on it. But then either side, then I can go on and screw either side and support either side on either side of this wall. And then I can double tier, hang these jerseys right here. And then that's when I can sort of go, okay, let me put on my reverse retros in this uh, uh, um, area, this area of it. Let me put all of my uh, white Adidas's down here. Let me put my CCM's over here. Let me put my home. Let me organize this a little better and also it'll look better for you guys as well so you won't see this eyesore so that's something i want to do and i want to pick up um one of these uh, sets and really plan out um how to do this i know i can do it it's just a matter of the want and the and the desire but most importantly having ikea have those pieces in stock and when i do that what i could do is legitly um, don't hold me to this but what I could do is I could just set this camera where it sits right here and then just sort of shoot the process and then obviously once it's done uh, time-lapse it so that you can see the process go so you're not spending the whole time with it but you can see the process of it of taking everything out putting it all back in. So that's um, that's one of the big projects that I wanna do for the channel now that I've gotten to a thousand subs is that I really wanna up the watch time and give you guys some content about fixing this area right here. Cause this is just the downstairs sort of landing area where this would just be a closet for, uh, I guess would be coats or shoes or anything like that i basically co-opted into my uh main uh hockey jersey collection um but if this is where it's going to sit and stay i want to put that there and also if i do that because uh i've invested a little bit and i do own the home it's an upgrade it's an upgrade it's an investment in the home as well so uh, it'll help out, you know, make this closet look a lot, lot better, more usable space because this thing, 
like I'm all the way up here. If anyone knows, I'm 6'5 and I'm up here and there's a lot of space and this same space that I have goes all the way up here as well. So I could legitly, there's a lot of above ground or above space that can be used that I could do something with. So I just want to maximize the space that I have here, especially now that I've reached the thousand. So anyway, that's an update that I want to do to this set. That's sort of like a long-term goal that I've been thinking about doing ever since the hockey guy did his uh, revamp of his set. And I know that Larry NHL wants to update update his thing and he's thinking of doing other things, which is awesome. I, I love hearing that. I want to do the same thing with this. That just, um, that's just the way I want to be. Like if, if my jerseys are going to live in here, I want to give them the best, uh, the best setup that I can. Um, uh, so that's just where I am with that. And once again, friendos, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the likes, all the comments, all the subscriptions that you guys have done for this channel, for Steven Larson, for a lot of the other uh, hockey jersey uh, collectors that make content like BA Sports, like the Jersey King, like um, um, uh, the Jersey Zone, Larry NHL, so many other people, the Instagrammers that lay out their, their sets that, that just wanna show you what they have. This community is awesome, just like the friendos in the wrestling community are awesome. The, the Enforcers uh, uh, Hockey Jersey uh, Collecting Network is, uh, is awesome as well. So um, nothing but positivity, nothing but love that I want to send out to each and every one of you. Thank you again for helping me reach my goal. Now, onwards and upwards, let's see if we can keep on growing. Let's see if we can get to, to more watching and let me get the content out to you guys uh, now that I've built up a healthy base. And thank you, everybody. I do appreciate it. You have no idea what it means to me. Thank you so much, everybody. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later. See you down the road. Take care. Bye.